Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. And we finally made it to the strip. Um, and I think we wanted to go into the Lucky 38. Let's say NCR, NCR people. Military, please. And we wanted to go in here, I think. Well, it's not popping up with the quest marker. Is this not the door? Where's the door? Around the side. Oh, this is the same thing. What? <laughs> because Victor said... Wasn't it Victor said we had to go in here? Okay. I'm going to change my quests. House always wins. Is that over this way then? No, this is the way out. Isn't it? I had dinner at the Ultra Lux the other night. I told them my steak no. was funny. Oh! Said it was a clown. I ate a ah, okay. Ah, here's Victor. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Uh, thank you. I see you brought some friends. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. Uh, I will head up myself. Come back soon now. Okay, creaky door. So I assume that automatically just set to wait until you come back? Okay. Wow, this is very eerie. It's so quiet. Where to, partner? When you just outside? Isn't that where the... Okay, this makes sense, because you might have come up with me. Hello. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Uh, what can you tell me about him? Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? Let's talk about something else. Anything you like, sugar. Oh, that was New Vegas. Or no, can you tell me about Mr. House? Why, Sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Sounds like you're pretty fond of him. Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it. <laughs> that counts in my book. Hmm. Uh, I didn't even realize robots could have such strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. Uh, so you're a copy of a dead woman? What exactly do you do? Mr. House has a lot of needs, Sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Yeah, I really don't want to think about that. Then maybe you shouldn't pry into a lady's particulars. Mm -hmm. Fair, fair enough. Anything you like, Sugar? Um, uh, who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Okay, let's just go and talk to Mr. House. Uh, where's his office? Be advised. Visitors will be held responsible for the behavior of any robots accompanying them. Okay. But Eddie isn't with me. Talking screen. Mr. House. Oh! What? This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? 
You've come a long ways, literally and, I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Uh, I've never seen anything like this place, let's be somewhat honest. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Why the VIP treatment? I'm just a courier. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. H have have I? The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. What do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Uh, so if I had hire bought Barter, I could kind of try and haggle him up. I have a few questions before I decide. What did you wish to know? How do I get to Benny? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the tops. Um, chairman of your employees, don't they take orders? It's more complicated than that. The chairman share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. Okay. Uh, why can't you be the one to tell Swank? By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families, or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. But, you know, he's not going to think someone's on to him when a person he's shot in the head will turn up to his casino. So I want to take a diplomatic approach. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Any ideas how I could catch him off guard? Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult. But not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. Okay, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Um... Okay, tell me about Benny. Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. Uh, what use would you have for a protege? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy, but in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. Why did he betray you? I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Oh, well, why didn't you intervene, intervene sooner you know, when he ambushed me? Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determined the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. 
When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. Okay, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Um, what is the platinum chip? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. Well, the more I know about it, the easier I can find it. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. Okay. Well, why use a single courier to transport it? You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. Yep. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Ooh, one of the camera setups is for the McCarran thingy monorail. Why don't you send your robots into the tops to arrest him? Frontal assaults on casinos. Not good for business. No, that's true. In any case, Benny would see it coming. And all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. Well, uh, I have a right to know more. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it and I paid for it dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of US dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, <laughs> but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Mm. Save your questions for then. Okay. What else did you want to know? Uh, who are you? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the new Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, Ooh. a vast computer and robotics corporation. Well, you appear to be a computer now, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. You feel like a brain in a jar. Yes, very Ninth Planet-esque. Whisper in darkness. Uh, so have you stayed alive all, 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 alive all this time? Let's just say it was very costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. How did you establish New Vegas? We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. Okay, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Uh, tell me about the factions. It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the platinum chip has been recovered. What else did you want to know? Okay. Uh, tell me your terms again. As I said before, Benny's fate is yours to decide. Once you've delivered the chip, I will pay you the amount agreed upon. Okay, I accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Uh, I will return when I have the chip. Until then. 
okay. So... Books. Books. Locked hard, and it's guarded. So we'll just ignore that. I'm just going to explore. Grand opening. Lucky 38 Hotel. Las Vegas, Nevada. Tectron. So this is his office, kind of, as was. Finance clipboard. Why does he have clothes? That's intriguing. Um, I don't think either of those are going to be particularly useful, are they? Right. So what's through here? Oh, this is back to where we were, isn't it? So is there anything interesting down here? Ali Din and company, magician and illusionist. New jokes, new tricks. You must see. Drinks. Oh, uh, maybe... Maybe he's previously had people in to discuss things like Benny, so... You need the food and bed for, for his stuff. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. I've just been. Uh, what's with the snowboat? Okay, now what is this place? Let's go down. This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino, or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. Okay, don't trust the food. What kind of robots are you? Why, I'm a Robco PDQ-88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. Okay, and what's with the snow globe connection, collection? Not collection. Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me. And I'll add them to his collection. He'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. Okay. Oh, I've got a snow globe. Apparently. You do? Whoa. Well, that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. And he spent the rest of the session searching the Lucky 38 for the other snow globe. Okay. Let's see if there's anything. Good springs. Okay. Oh, I have to talk to you to go down, do I? Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to come you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Okay, we haven't enjoy the dates, partner. We've got a new place to stay. Okay. 